And then in the 1920s, we had a crisis because our urban schools were overwhelmed with immigrant children who couldn't speak English. In the 1930s, there was a huge crisis because the schools were not meeting the needs of the depressed economy. In the 1940s, the schools were overcrowded and antiquated. There had been no investment in them because of the war years. And we were in crisis with terrible districts there. Uh, and they were not ready for the accommodation. That's what they said during that crisis. In the 1950s, we had crisis after crisis. The 1950s is now referred to, by the way, in Waiting for Superman and in Newsweek as the Golden Age. <laughs> <laughs> but in the 1950s, we found out that Johnny can't <coughs> Rudolph Flesch wrote a bestseller, a huge bestseller called Why Johnny Can't Read. And then someone wrote Why Johnny Can't Do Math and Why Johnny Can't Write. That was the 1950s, <laughs> Golden Age. <laughs> and then we had Sputnik. And when Sputnik went out in 1957, we found out that the Russians launched Sputnik because our schools were so bad. <laughs> <laughs> and there was an admiral named Hyman Rickover who wrote a book about how terrible the schools were and how they were responsible and why the Russians had overtaken us because of our bad schools. That was the golden age. And then in the 1960s, we learned that our schools were responsible for institutionalized racism and that there was this tremendous achievement gap in the 60s caused by the schools and there was a crisis of the disadvantage. And suddenly the society discovered there's poverty in America. <laughs> that was the discovery of the 1960s. Then in the 1970s, there was yet another crisis. It was called popular book at the time called it, Charles Silverman, Crisis in the Classroom. That crisis was that so many children were so bored and disengaged and turned off and that our schools were mindless and we needed a revolution. Then in the 1980s, we discovered we were a nation at risk. We had been at risk nonstop since 1983. <laughs> are we in a crisis? Of course we're in a crisis. When were we not in a crisis? <laughs> The crisis today, however, is not what you think it is. The crisis is caused by No Child Left Behind. We have a federal law. We have a federal law that, to, to quote, quote a phrase from David Berliner, is a manufacturing crisis. We have a federal law designed to fail almost every school in America. Uh, just the other day, I read that in in New Mexico, 87% of the public schools are now failing the school. 87%. That's where we're all headed. So then we come to the next question. Dr. Rappos, you've <laughs> <laughs> 